Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Phil Studio. Today is a great day because not so long ago uh, a customer came to me and he bought a SP2060 from Yamaha, which is a DSP digital signal processor. Um, more accurately, it is a speaker processor, uh, which means that you can store like your EQ, your crossover, your even program your DLA and save your preset and much more. But unfortunately, the customer realized that the unit was in a control panel lock mode and we didn't use the password of the unit. So he asked me to unlock it and check the battery, the internal battery. So today I'm going to show you how I did a factory reset of the unit, as well as hot swap the coin cell battery, which will retain the memory of everything in your unit. So enjoy. So we have in front of us the speaker processor, nice menu, nice function, but whatever the function I pushed, uh, kept bringing me back to the control panel locked and asking for password. So yeah. Oh, I didn't mention, but the unit is a used unit. So I really didn't knew what the password is or was. So. I tried zero 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 and it was a wrong password and I think I tried another another thing like one two three four but wasn't it either so uh, I had no other choice than go into the service manual and checked for the factory reset Oh, and just before I tried uh, removing the user lock and it asked me for the password, so... Uh, thing we're not getting better at this point. So I'll show you how to go into the initiali initialize mode, which is fairly simple. Uh, while turning on the machine, you push and you hold the back button until you get to that menu, which is the initialize. So you can create backup and load a backup. And let's say you have saved your preset somewhere in your computer. But what we're interested in is uh, the factory setup. So you go to the arrow, say yes. Are you sure? Yes, and now it is executing the factory default. So it's just formatting the memory to the default setting. So don't worry, it's it's a bit long. It's a it's an old machine. There it is. So by default, there's a lot of preset in there, so don't have to worry about that. And now everything is unlocked. The version, and it's easy to scroll into the menu and get to the IP address. Let's say you wanna plug this into your system or uh, into your computer. So, now I will open it. It is fairly easy. There are four screws on the top that you have to remove. And uh, all of this with your tiny finger or a Phillips screwdriver. Oh, don't drop the screwdriver.
Yeah, we have the four screws removed on the top. On the side, you will see if you have the rack mount plate, you have to remove both sides and you have two small screws on each side. And don't forget that tiny screws in the back. So it's the same on the other side, the two screws and uh, the little ear for the rack mount. So basically you have five screws on top and the back, two small on each side and three for uh, the rack mount. And once everything is removed, it's fairly easy to just slide the top cover up. And uh, I don't recall if, I don't think there's a ground wire connected to the top plate. And s this is the moment where you want to be really careful because uh, DSP and microprocessor are really sensitive to electric electrostatic. So you don't want to zap anything. And now you part up and be really careful. You don't want to get shocked or damage the unit while it's part on. So I'm going to remove carefully the battery. Make sure you don't drop it. You don't make any short. And so we're doing the hot swap in order to maintain the memory. So I'm going, I'm just showing you how to do that, but for sure we don't need to retain the memory. We just perform a factory reset, a factory default setting. And I'm measuring the battery and somewhere between 3.1 and 3.3 is a good voltage for that uh, cell, coin cell battery. So it's 3.2, that's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna slide it back. You just slide it, it's really easy to pop in back in the socket and, and pop it out and make sure the flat surface is on top, the, the positive. And the machine is still running, so you can close it, power it off, and everything is fine. So I hope you enjoyed that video and it was uh, useful for you. Let me know in the comment if you ever had to change uh, a battery uh, while a machine is powered up. Because you, you can do the same into your digital mixer or your, your personal computer. Remember the, the BIOS uh, battery, uh, if you have to change it someday, you can do it while it's part on. Just really, really be careful because you can damage your, your electronics so easily by doing that. And uh, if you don't feel comfortable, well, I, I encourage you to just hire someone to, to do it for you. So uh, see you.